the families of two Buena Vista women who were found dead in their car in Smith Mountain Lake over the weekend are still looking for answers. They want to know how did they get there after leaving their homes more than a week ago. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer is live in Franklin County after speaking with the mother of one of the women. So Shane, she actually has a theory of her own. What did she tell you? Lindsay and John Bridget Clark's mother told me today that in her heart, she believes that this was nothing more than an accident. The Franklin County Sheriff's Office is investigating if that could be the case, but they say they need to hear back from the medical examiner's office before they can make any sort of determination. We finally, you know, know where she's at now. For a week, we had no idea. Linda Barger is a step closer to peace after police found her daughter, Jacqueline Bridget Clark, and her daughter's friend, Mary Becky Williams, and their car in Smith Mountain Lake this weekend. Clark had said goodbye before leaving home in Buena Vista a week ago. She said, uh, I've got to go away for a few days. I'm, I'm going away. And so she packed her clothes, and actually before she left, she came over and told me she loved me. Barger says that wasn't unusual, but the hours that passed without a call from her were. According to friends, the women were headed to the Westlake Kroger in the blue SUV, and Barger learned of a harrowing phone call those friends made when they didn't show. They uh, were about 12 miles away from him. Then they said, there's water in my car. I feel like I'm floating. And he, the gentleman said, where's Bridget? And said, she's asleep. He said, well, get her up and get out of there. That call came just a few hours after the women left Buena Vista. After a week of looking for them, police recovered their car and the two bodies at the end of Webster Road in the water. Daylight shows this road's dead end, but they went off the grid in the middle of the night in pitch dark. Barger believes it was an accident. Very easy for someone just to drive in there, especially at you know, 2.40 in the morning. I can see that. Clark leaves behind two teenage children and a loving family, and the community they've called home for so long is helping those family members through. Well, Bridget had many friends here in the area, and we've been surrounded by friends. As if that wasn't enough, Clark's extended family has recently been battling coronavirus and dealing with that, adding this on top and making this an incredibly sad and depressing time to be dealing with this. They hope that they can hold a memorial service soon for the two women, but Clark's mother says she doesn't want to do anything until they're allowed to gather in large groups again. Live in Franklin County, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.